Um, I'm working for the gallery that's putting on um, this exhibit, this installation, and um, yeah, I'm very excited to be here. I mean, basically, this is really the kind of art that Sydney's art scene needs right now. It's it's colourful and and it's it's dirty. It's so dirty, and I think that's what we're looking for, definitely, yeah, from our gallery perspective, anyway. I figured he's really. He's like Australia's Banksy, you know, he's really kind of out there and you see the stuff, you just walk past the wall and then there it is and you see it and you know that it's him. So, you know, bringing that, taking that art seriously and bringing it into a kind of a gallery style setting, I think it's, uh, it's really shaking things up, you know, yeah. We came across Kate Watt M3 um, probably about three months ago, I think, and um, we initially came into contact through the short film scene um, in Sydney, and we were like, oh my god, who is this guy? And um, so, yeah, we, we got into contact that way, and um, had a couple of initial meetings, and um, yeah, that's basically how we got into um, this environment. So I think we're very excited about And um, I've been really wanting to see your stuff in a gallery space. And then I heard about this, I don't know, through Facebook? Was it on your yeah, page? I, yeah, so I yeah. tweaked, yeah. Yeah. And um, so I got really pumped and now here we are and I'm a bit stoked. Yeah. Walking in Newtown one day and I just saw this piece. It was actually this one here, which we've then taken off the wall, but I um, saw this piece and I thought, you know, it really stood out and it was just so different and I thought, you know, damn that guy, you know, he knows, you know, he knows what it's about, you know, he just stood out from all the other crap on the walls, you know, and I thought I had to work with this guy. So, you know, what I'm doing and hoping to do um, is a kind of transmedia kind of you know, augmented reality kind of layering kind of stuff is my thing and what we want to do is bring the experience of experiencing uh, you know, K4N3's work to a much wider audience but keep it exclusive, keep it really underground we're going to have, uh, you know, kind of augmented reality kind of apps we're going to be, you know, we're going to be in the ice, you know, the, the app store, you know, with Apple you, so you've got your iPhone and you, you know, you know the right place to go to so you go to this wall and you sort of hold up your phone and there, bam, is, is the work, you know it's going to be right up in your face, it's going to be there and it's going to be living and you can hold it and you can take it home with you and you can tweet about it and you can tell all your friends and, you know, you can Facebook it and, and you can Foursquare it and stuff like that like that'll be really kind of really exclusive and underground and cool but you know also selling apps and stuff which would be great. So, um, so I heard about uh, K4M3 through the uh, Sydney Underground Film scene. That's where I uh, first uh, I first heard rumours about his existence, really. Um, he was something of an enigma to begin with. And, um, and of course, once you heard about the enigma, you, you start to uh, see evidence of it everywhere. Um, you know, and that speaks volumes of his influence. His works of uh, real significance to the Sydney art community is, uh, there's no one doing quite what he does and uh, you know in that regard he's going to influence generations of not only street artists but I think fine artists too because they'll all be uh, they'll all be using his lines uh, more and more as time goes by we do see you know, postmodern blendings of uh, art Film, culture, and writing—they, they, they, you know, eventually, you know, artists are notorious for, for stealing from one another, and that's not just limited to within their own medium. And I think, uh, I think you'll soon see uh, filmmakers stealing uh, the example and the and the form set by uh, uh, 
1K and 4.3. For the 1K? That's $1,000 then? Uh, I'm not actually K4N3, uh, I'm an intern working at, at this exhibition, but I do have official authorization. See, that's me, B Art, that's my, that's my tag. Uh, this gives me authorization to uh, create official works on behalf of K4N3. Um, look, I think it's K4N3 is work is just so innovative and, uh, you know, pushing the boundaries and making us all really look at who we really are inside. Um, I'm very excited about the trademark clock, um, giving it a bit of a high five. Um, I love him, you know, it will go on my wall, centerpiece, can't wait to show the kids as well. In the house, getting crazy. Got the tram yards as my canvas, grabbing cans of spray. I'm like, fucking up your art space. I charge you a grand to put my cock up in your Aces. face. I'm like, Ace, remember my name, cause you see around the place. What? 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 what?